Today's tutorial is on the quick setup of the AT Evo series battery charger. This setup procedure can be used for any size AT Evo charger. There are five main points we will focus on. Location, safety, electrical connections, starting the charger, and adjusting the basic parameters. First, location. All Hindle Power AT Evo chargers up to 300 amps are convection cooled so it's important you place the charger in a well-ventilated area. Leave about six inches of space near all vented surfaces to allow for proper airflow. Second, let's talk safety. Before making any connections to the charger, be sure all AC and DC feeds are de-energized and locked out. Be sure to confirm your AC source matches the charger configuration. You can verify this by referencing both the data nameplate and the warning tag on the front of the charger. The battery voltage can be verified here as well. Now you can start making your electrical connections. Following the instructions in the operation manual, begin wiring your equipment to the AT Evo I.O. panel or breaker. Once your connections are properly landed, and you ensured the polarity is correct on the DC connection, it's time to start your AT Evo. Please note the startup procedure is reverse of the legacy AT10 and AT30 series chargers. First, turn on the AC source distribution breaker or disconnect. Second, turn on AT Evo's AC input breaker. Third, turn on the battery disconnect. Finally, turn on AT Evo's DC output breaker. Now that the charger is running, it's time to set the basic parameters. Keep in mind that Hindle Power can preset your charger before it gets to your location. Setting the basic AT Evo parameters is essentially the same as setting the legacy AT10 and AT30 series parameters. If you are familiar with that procedure, you can follow the same steps. The basic parameters you will adjust are the float voltage, equalize voltage, equalize timer hours, high DC voltage alarm, low DC voltage alarm, and current limit. To begin, press the Edit Enter key. The first value displayed will be the float voltage. Adjust this value by pressing the up or down arrow keys. Press the Edit Enter key again to save and advance to the next parameter, adjusting the equalize voltage. Again, adjust this value by using the up or down arrow keys. Repeat this process to adjust the rest of the parameters. Please note that if no key is pressed for 25 seconds, the charger will return to normal operation. Now you have completed setting up the basic parameters on the AT Evo series battery charger and can rest easy knowing it's functioning properly. We hope you enjoyed this video. For more informational videos, please click the link below.